Echelons are a way of pace lining. It's not going to be a straight off the back. You're going to find that the riders are going to be riding either far to the right or to the left. This is indicating how the wind is blowing. Wind plays a really important role in how you're going to ride your bike. If the wind's coming from the left, you're going to find that all the cyclists are going to be strung out to the right, trying to get as much draft from the rider in front of them. If the wind is coming from the right, you're going to find that all the cyclists are going to be strung out to the left. Echelons can be found in both competition and in training. Echelons will be used when it's incredibly windy and there's side winds. If there's a headwind, there's no need for an echelon. If there's a tailwind, there's no need for an echelon. But side winds, flat, long stretches, exposed areas of a race, you're going to find riders strung out all the way across the road. To determine how to echelon and how to rotate, uh, it's very important when you're cycling to determine where the wind's coming from. Is it a headwind? Is it a tailwind? Is it a crosswind? And in order to, in the ways of determining which way the wind is coming is from feeling it actually on your face or feeling it on your arms. After riding for a little bit, you're going to determine the wind's coming from 2 o'clock or the wind's coming from 6 o'clock. So determining which way the wind's coming will allow you to find the best position to gain the best draft. Echeloning is a relatively simple skill. Uh, it's best practice just with one other person and you could add two or three people and you might actually in races find a, a line of 10 or 12 cyclists echeloning and that's how to echelon. Thank you.